Leonard Cargan's ex-city employee. The city of West Palm Beach needs com competent employees in key management positions in order to succeed in providing excellent service to its residents, and especially in the public utilities department, which is the department that is supposed to provide safe drinking water to its residents. Under Mr. Hanks' administration, the utility started to alter the minimum requirements of key positions so less qualified individuals can move up. For example, Samuel Hetty did not meet the minimum requirements for the water treatment plant manager position. Therefore, Mr. Hanks wrote a letter to Human Resources asking to eliminate the minimum requirements, which was a Class A water treatment operator's license, which Mr. Hetty did not have. In fact, Mr. Hetty had no prior experiences and no operator license of, at any level or training as a water treatment plant operator. Please see the attachments. That's the first one. That's the email from David Hanks to HR. The Human Resources Department waived the license requirements, and with that, everything that comes with that license. Five years of experience with water treatment operations. The knowledge to, required to pass three state exams and the knowledge to supervise water operations efficiently. In addition, Sam Hetty, Poon and Calcat benefited, benefited from the waived requirements as well when she was promoted to water plant manager. Currently, the city is looking to hire a new public utilities director. And once again, the city is waiving the requirements of this position so Mr. Hetty can qualify for it. In this case, the requirement is a possession of a professional engineer's license. It seems unbelievable that the city is looking to waive requirements and follow David Hanks' succession plan when the city is under a 10-year consent order and under investigation for alternating water samples. The city residents deserve to have qualified professionals overseeing the water that they drink and use every day to live. I'd like to tell the city right now where they found that first E. coli breakout. Everybody was told it came from the water plant. It never came from the water plant. I don't understand why you guys are hiding this. This is water. This is what people need and drink every day. The water out west is tainted. When are you going to fix this? You can't bury this no more. I'm not going to let you bury this no more. Please fix this. Don't let Hetty get you, that Mr. job. Corrigan. He's incompetent. Thank you, Mr. Corrigan. Sandy Makovich, if you'll come.